I hope you liked the title of this video, Which the F? Because it's really important for you to know which F you are in. Because in anything we do in life, we are either in one F or the other. And that is we are either in faith or we are in fear. Pretty simple. And sometimes things that are simple are still really hard. Because if you are in fear, it is difficult to step into faith. And that's where I find uh, a lot of us in relationships uh, where we're kind of living. We're living in a low level state of fear. Fear of making a mistake, fear of upsetting the apple cart, fear of asking for what we want, uh, fear of doing the wrong thing, and then fear of the future, what it's gonna bring. And I find this whether women are just dating or whether they are in a relationship. In dating, the fear comes into play of um, they have no faith that there are quote unquote good men out there. They have no faith that online dating can work, which it does. Uh, they have no faith that really, and this is a tough one, really underneath that they are lovable the way that they are. They have no faith that a man will uh, want them in the way that they are. If that's, that's you, that can be turned around. And I hope it's not, but if it is, what will help in that situation is understanding, knowledge. See, when we are in fear, there is doubt, there is worry, there is a lack of knowledge in some way, shape, or form. Because largely, we, uh, we get experience from that state, and that leads to a negative result. I want you to think about this. If we were to take you back to when you first felt those stirrings for, for boys, uh, you had no real experience. And so you felt free and you had an excitement and you were in faith. You were not in fear. But then what happened? You went along without any real knowledge and then things probably went awry somewhere down the road or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so here's the trouble is that it wasn't um, just the lack of knowledge because if it was just the lack of knowledge you would have along the road said well I'll just get the knowledge and then everything will be okay but you had negative experiences and those negative experiences built on the fear and kept you from being in faith now you could say well I have a strong faith uh, spiritually and then things will work out that's an interesting place to be while I love the faith part, the problem is that alone will not get you anywhere either. In other words, we can have a faith that we will become a millionaire, say. Okay, so we have that faith. Wonderful. We're stepping into that feeling of, I will have the money, a feeling like I even have it today. But if you're not taking the steps, through knowledge, getting the right help that you will need to achieve that goal, then likely, no matter how much faith, you won't be able to manifest it, or you certainly won't manifest it in a time frame that you're really looking to do so. If you are in a relationship, you may have fear of really stepping into what it is that you desire and deserve. If you've been in a relationship longer than a year, I recommend that you watch a couple of my videos. One is the Girlfriend Law of Diminishing Returns. That's a, a really valuable one to show you. Uh, and then, of course, the fear of the lure. And uh, that I won't go into here. Watch it. It's going to be really valuable for you if you are in a, a relationship of coming upon a year or a year or more. Really important for you to watch those two videos. And I will, I will talk about them below. So I hope this was helpful for you today to understand that you must choose 
one f over the other and additionally get the information the knowledge and you're not going to get knowledge from simply watching these videos well you might collect it but to actually do something about it you have to take a lot more steps you have to be committed you have to do things differently there are some folks that can do it on their own but i find that like with anything if you're not actually uh, taking a course about it, um, uh, working with a, um, an accountability partner as a friend with study. You know, it, it's really hard. Uh, typically, we do formalize things because on our own, left to our own devices, we, we don't do the things that are really difficult and take a lot of commitment to do. And when I work with women, they are, f in my 12-week program at least, they are fully committed. I mean, they are all in, uh, and um, I forget who said it, but said those who pay, pay attention. And that's it. When we purchase something, we pay attention to it. And then we do the things that are recommended because we had the faith, and then we step out of the fear and into the format that most works to get the results we desire and deserve. And that's what I'm all about. I want you to get those results. And that is why I am here. Until next time. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video. So I hope you'll subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're sure to get all my upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And if you are here and seeing this video between May 19th, 2021 and June 19th, 2021, then I urge you to go to my spring not just a fling giveaway. It's a giveaway especially for subscribers here. And if you are already subscribed, you just go to that video, Spring Not Just a Fling Giveaway, and you will get all the instructions on how to enter. If you are a new viewer, then please do subscribe and be part of the Wonder Women family. And you can do that by going to that video as well, subscribing, get all the details there, and get a wonderful giveaway and getaway in 2021.